<laughs> well, so here's a tidbit of information you're going to need to know. Uh, so, because this thing came as is, wrapped in bubble wrap, no directions, basically, you know, you line it up, everything's the same. You know, the length's the same, except for one important thing, <laughs> the latch is upside down. Hey, John here. So I got this uh, Anderson door here that the door handle is obviously uh, wonky. It won't, uh, you know, set up right. Uh, probably an internal spring went bad. But uh, I bought some parts to fix it, and I figured I'd get the camera and see what kind of trouble we can get into. But I think it's going to be pretty easy, probably a 15-minute job. Uh, but we'll see what happens. And this door apparently was made from 88 to the present, so the parts were, uh, you know, ready available. I got them through Amazon. Next day it came. Uh, a little bit pricey, it's $200 for this latch, but it covers, it's about 7 feet tall here. It, it, it's not only the latch, but it has a mechanism to grab the other door, so it's it's kind of busy, but let's take it apart and see what we can do. So, like I said, this latch is, uh, it's common, but here's what the problem is, it just won't stay up. You can, you can lock it in place and it'll stay up, right? That's how you lock the two doors together, but as soon as you open it, it, uh, it just won't. <laughs> fairly close well it does close but uh, the handle you know it's kind of problematic you can't leave it like that so uh, your door handle is going to look obviously different because I, I made these extensions uh, a while back and just to accept these uh, wide slats things but uh, other than that this should be pretty straightforward uh, because I did these a while back I kind of remember how this mechanism came apart but uh, we'll go ahead and see see what see what yeah, I think like I said I think this is going to be a really easy 15 minute job but let's get taking it apart. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take this handle off and there's a there's a uh, I think it was an Allen wrench under here. Uh, I'm not sure what size it is. I'll let you know in a second. Uh, get this door handle off and it looks like a Phillips. We can get this mechanism off and we'll go from there. So I used a, an eighth inch bit. I don't know exactly what size but that, that uh, fit, in that, fit in that hole pretty good. Um, it's actually maybe the size eighth inch. Uh, the reason, like I said, this looks different is because I made this extension. So, you know, this is just copper tubing and painted up. But uh, the bushing, yours would look like the bushing would be there, and just a, just a, just the handle, no longer piece here. But uh, but don't worry about that. Let's. Uh, so that's the first thing I did. Now I'm going to take this off. Let's see what we got behind that. So taking these uh, latches, uh, it's just one long screw, and on the other side, on the outside of the door is, is uh, you know, the, uh, the bolt or receiver, uh, so they might fall off if you do that, so, um, and then this should just come right out of there, and, and if I remember correctly, um, and these might stay in the door on the other side, I don't know, and you probably can't see too good because there's a lot of sunlight coming in here, bad, bad uh, angle, but... <coughs> Once that's off, there's this lock mechanism that I have to take that off because this whole, when we take this door, I'll show you in a second here. See all these screws got to come out of the side here, but it's going to be locked in place with this lock. So I would think the next thing that has to come off is these two things, which they, I believe, don't have a backer. They just plug right in. Pretty long screws, actually. And it's just a little tumbler for, uh, you know, your lock. So we just, from the outside, just took off the, uh, you know, just popped this plate off the, off the outside. And this is the door handle. Of course, my shaft here is uh, longer than the original. I think I still got the originals. I'll have to go get them and show you. But uh, So that's the three pieces we got so far. So, so far, so far, so easy. Look out, booster. And uh, like I said, just, we have to take off, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like 12 screws, and uh, slide this whole thing right out. All right, so we've got the 12 screws out, and I think this thing should just pop right out of there. Just cut from the top, I guess, peel it back. Yeah. So that's all there is to that. Just kind of keep this door closed the best we can. Let me go show you the new one. Let's compare it to see if we've got the right part. <laughs> well, so it looks like the same piece. However, this is probably what was wrong with the old one. It's the old one. As you can see here, this, this thing here has a spring here and a little spring there. Not sure where this is. It can't go anywhere from the door. I just look, look for the piece everywhere unless it slid into here and fell into this contraption. But 
That apparently is what is this little spring on top here and this mechanism here is apparently what uh, what is holding that door handle up. So that's that. <laughs> well, so here's a tidbit of information you're going to need to know. Uh, so because this thing came as is wrapped in bubble wrap, no directions, I just assume it's plug and play. So we go to put this sucker in. At first, uh, I had it, yeah, like this. I, I put it, but basically, you know, you line it up, everything's the same. You know, the length's the same. Except for one important thing, <laughs> the latch is upside down. Then I was thinking, well, maybe the door is a left-right door situation. Maybe I got the wrong part. So I look it up, and uh, sure enough, there's an easy fix for this. And uh, oddly enough, there's no directions that came with this. But here's how you do it. Uh, I don't know if this could, yeah, this, this one will do it. So you, this hole here, you just stick it in, pry up a little bit, and it pops it out. And you just uh, flick it around, push it back in. Now we're looking the same. So that was a little goofy. Like, if you didn't know that or to look it up, I would think, oh man, I got the wrong door latch. Left, right deal, you know, that kind of thing. Because, oh, you know, I was looking around at this, there, these are all riveted in there. There's no way you could take it apart, but interesting. Interesting to know. So let's go put this in again. So this is the outside piece with the lock. And uh, this will fall out of there. It's just held in there, but it's a uh, rubber gasket for right now. Uh, but this is the uh, accepting piece, and it is. it does have little grooves in there. You probably can't see it, but there's grooves in here, so they kind of do have to be, uh, as you can see, it won't seat. There it goes. So <clears throat> that, again, goes on this side. Then your handle comes through, and, uh, and then from this side, we'll get the other side. You'll see in a second. Let's put it mostly in. A little bit of tight fit there in that new, in the new groove there. And put a bolt on this side just to, without the face plate, just to see if we can cinch it in. See so if we can get this rubber and lock mechanism. And it's just this little tumbler deal. You know, with this, this little star, star program. kind of fits in there. Let's see if we can uh, draw this down that way. Oops, there. See if this lock works. It does not. Interesting. Oh, it's because you gotta. The lock won't work until you. Until you do your little move, and you, uh, you gotta pull it up. That sends the little arms out, and then it locks. All right, so we're all set here. Bada boom, bada bing. Pushing on a homemade extension.
All right, so that was a quick one. It would have been uh, 15 minutes had we known about this latch. Uh, so easy to do, really easy to do, actually. And uh, she, works, she works good. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time, yeah?